You can't tell right now, but I smell bad. So welcome to another loop video. But before that, um, this is a book that I have written, or three of them. It's called Friendship Journal. Um, there's four different sections, and it's just there to help um, build better connections between you and other friends. Um, there's like questions, questions about like how to get to know each other, and also questions about your guys' relationship, friendship. Um, it could be people that you're uh, friends with, dating, married, um, kind of anybody. And so uh, if you know someone who might think that'd be fun, or if you would like some, they are on Amazon. You can purchase them in the link below. So the next loop is the ENTJ. The ENTJ function stack is extroverted thinking, introverted intuition, extroverted sensing, and introverted feeling. So when the loop starts to happen, it's not a bad thing initially. It's just giving us a new perspective and some clarity potentially. Um, but then if we get stuck in it, we actually start obsessing over things. And so I just want to try to articulate the best I can about the things that we want to be obsessing, some things that might help. But ultimately, I need you to help me. So other ENTJs or even people that know the topic better, please put descriptions um, of your experiences below. And but hopefully this is a good starter. So when the ENTJ is in their prime, they will be exercising their extroverted thinking as well as their introverted intuition. So all of like the um, puzzles and different factual things that they are engaging themselves with, it gets refined with uh, introverted intuition. And so there becomes a sense of clarity of like how to engage with all of the facts and analysis that they end up um, engaging themselves with. But then when something starts to have any pressures on their life that starts to push them into their loop, um, they start to now process their extroverted thinking with their extroverted sensing, um, which then starts to create this obsession about things and success, wanting to impress people and they're no longer engaging with what's truly important about them. They're caught in this space of deep insecurity. And so now they're reverting themselves to this other mode in order to find some sort of stability. The goals and everything else that they used to normally do becomes a means to an end. And yeah, like I said, they're not in touch with like what they truly value and what matters to them. And so something that will help them is to engage their secondary function, which is introverted intuition. <clears throat> it is not the key to completely get out. You still have to address what is putting you in that loop. Identify the stressors um, and then be able to figure out what you need to do to get out of that. And sometimes it's a mixture of making hard choices, confronting people, forgiving people, confronting uh, things within yourself. Is there bitterness? Like what's what's happening? So, you, But you need to identify those things. And one of the things that can help you identify that is to exercise your introversion, introverted intuition. Because the loop is pushing you outward, you need to collect yourself and come back in. You need alone time. You need to go and uh, focus on what's important, refine your goals. You need to read, you need to write, write down what's important, write down why you do the things you do. And you need to also come to grips with what is an important thing for the future. And so, you're going to be stubborn about this, but you've got to do it. You need to refine yourself, get clarity before you go back out into the world and engage with it again. And that will help you break away from whatever is drawing you to this obsession with things and um, image and kind of using people as a stepping stool to a means to an end. Um, and that's a really important thing for you to do. But also, I concentrate on why are you struggling the way you're struggling. But it's okay. Just take some time, reel back, go camping, do something you enjoy, but or go to a coffee shop, but something to get you away from the crowd. I guess the coffee shop would be so great, but whatever. You, you need to get away. So I hope that's something that's at least helpful to kind of work on for the first steps. So other ENTJs, please put your experiences down below. I would really love to have them be contributed to this video and other people can learn from them. So I'm going to bow out. Don't forget the books. I hope they are helpful for you. And I'll see you in another video in another life. You never know. My stomach like intensely growled and it distracted me. Peace. <laughs>